As a person who was trained and who served in the military, followed by several years as a nuclear security officer at Plant Vogel, I can't count the number of times that I've heard the term equal or greater force. If you're under assault, the surest method of fending off that assault is to meet it with equal or greater force. Anyone who's ever been taught how to survive a firefight will tell you that superior training, equipment, and firepower are the keys to survival. Criminals, terrorists, and madmen don't respond to words. They don't obey laws, and they don't play by the rules, not even the rules that say that it's wrong to slaughter unarmed innocents like children. That's a very cruel reality, but it is reality nonetheless. The left and the mainstream media only understand one solution, gun control. Now this is from the same government that illegally walked fully automatic weapons to Mexican drug lords who send fully automatic weapons and even anti-aircraft weapons to Libyan and Syrian rebels and they want to leave their own citizens with inferior firepower. And that's in spite of the fact that we've tried gun control and it didn't work by any measurement. And that's because there's another fact that they refuse to accept. Guns are a primitive and simple technology. Gunpowder has been around for more than a thousand years. You can't get rid of it. A high capacity magazine is nothing more than a big metal box with a spring in it. Anyone can make one. And when it comes to ammunition, it's nothing more than shaped lead. It's easy to manufacture. If criminals or terrorists want guns, they will have guns. Prisoners even make them from scratch in high security prisons. If a madman is coming at you with an AK-47, you need equal or superior firepower because gun bans and rules won't stop him. But a gaping chest wound will. I'm Lee Miller.